let's continue our talk about slicing. Uh, let's go back to the uh, slicing with a positive step. In the last time, we started with this uh, few statements. So let's continue from that point. Um, here I am missing the... Uh, uh, remember here what we are focusing on the positive step because negative step is a bit different. Here we are missing the end. Similar to what we'll learn it, if you are missing the end, it will be the length of the sequence. So 192 is very same as 1MBT uh, and 2. For the start, if you forget it, it will be uh, the default value is 0. If you forgot the start and the end, then the default here will be 0 and the default here will be the length. If you forgot all of them, then it will be the default 0, then the default is the length and the default is 1. Please read all of these queries, read all of these values and make sure it makes sense for you. Now the tricky part, little tricky, is the negative step. <clears throat> so here we have the um, uh, starting from 8 to 1 to negative 1. This is very similar to the range. No problem about that. You are starting from index 8, which is here. You are moving till you reach the index 1, but excluding it. Step by step in negative y, then you, jump, you visit 8, 7, 6, blah, 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 till 1. Uh, till, uh, till 2 because 1 is excluded. So far, so good. In a very similar way, you can write something like 7 and 0 and minus 1. It will jump step by step. Uh, 7, 0, minus 2, it will jump two steps. If you if you give a wrong range, like let's say 2 to 5 with minus 1, this is a wrong range because with negative, you need it to be high and low, not low and high. So far, so good. The tricky part is a little bit when it comes to uh, the missing values. In the negative step, if the start is mathing, the default is length. This is makes sense and, and easy. If you are missing the default here, then the length will be used, which will be 9. The tricky case is when the end is missing. So if the, if the end is missing, the default is in 0. Uh, the, 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 the 0 will be included here. So if you wrote 5 without an end here, it's going to give you 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. But this isn't the same as 5 and 0 because 0 will be excluded. So here, the, the lesson here is the negative step is a bit counterintuitive with the missing uh, end. So be careful about that. One of the nice things is if you provided a minus 1 here, this is actually reversing the whole list. Remember, when you have colon and colon, it means the whole list, right? From start to end with minus 1, it's just reversing out of it. I would like to provide another schema for the missing values so that uh, it make more sense for you, just uh, like another perspective. If we are in a positive step and we are missing the start, then it means it read from the begin till the current index excluded. So missing start, start from the begin, which is zero till five excluded, then this result. If a positive step and you are missing the end, it means it read till the end inclusive. So you start from 2, you keep going till the end, inclusive. In a negative step, if you are missing the start, it means iterate from the end and exclude the uh, 5 here. So you start from the end, which is 8, 8, 7, 6, 5 will be excluded. If we are a negative step uh, with a missing start, it means iterate, from, iterate till the begin, inclusive. So you start from the 2 till, to, to, till the begin, in an ex inclusive way. If you thought this way about what is exclusive, inclusive, start and end, it should make more and more sense for you. And again, if you have here the uh, missing start and missing end, it means a cover from the end till the begin, all of them inclusive. Uh, like anything, you have to practice it a lot to just like uh, have these rules very solid in your mind. The last thing to know is the, the replacements and deleting. We can utilize the slicing to replace or delete items from a list. In the normal case, we used to access with a single index like 2 and replace with a value 100. This so far so good. But what if I provide something like that? From 3 to 6, uh, this slice replace with 9, 8, 2. So what is 3? 3 is here. 6 is here exclusive. So when you remove it, you get the uh, 1, 2, 100, 9, 82, a 7. So 3, 4, 5 will be all of them replaced with 9, 
so notice here we shrink it the list we can also do the opposite from one to three is just two elements we are replacing here with four values so the two elements will be replaced with two with four values uh, you have to be a little bit careful when it comes to replacing uh, items uh, uh, that has for example jumps if you have one column six two you cannot just provide the single item you have to provide three items one to six with column two is needing is jumping is a slice for three item so you need to provide three items to assign here in a very similar way if you are moving in a negative step also be careful you have to provide corresponding ones so overall is sometimes we have the flexibility to provide a, a replacement that is one item or more as we like we are flexible and sometimes we have to provide the exact number of items here in a similar way to the above we can provide three column one to three we are replacing all of the items starting from the three with one to three the delete case is is a uh, very straightforward delete one to three will, will delete one positions one and two delete one five with two steps will, will delete the positions one five one three uh yeah that's all one, one three only uh, like a position in one which is four position in three which is uh six so this is the result this is all about the replace and delete that's all practice a lot this is the only way to have all of these uh, bars like a part of your mentality